Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. This is advice for those who feel that they are moving away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that they <coughs> that they do not know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Habitu fillah. اعلم رحمك الله أنه يجب علينا تعلم أربع مسائل الأولى العلم هو معرفة الله ومعرفة النبي ومعرفة الدين الإسلامي بأدلة حبت في الله know that is an obligation upon us to know four things the first is knowing Allah knowing his prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and knowing the religion of Islam with its textual proofs Ahabatifillah, the reason I mention that <coughs> is because by knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by knowing Him by His divine attributes and names, and worshiping Him by those and supplicating to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is one of the means to draw us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's one of the ways to show our humility before our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the opposite of humility is arrogance. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, اَدْعُونِ يَسْتَجِيبْ لَكُمْ إِلَّا الَّذِينِ يُسْتَخْبِرُونَ عَنْ عِبَادَتِي سَيَدْخُلُونَ جَهَنَّمَ دَاخِرِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ Supplicate to me, and I will give you. And verily, those who do not supplicate to me from my servants are, will enter Jahannam and what an evil destination, or they will enter uh, Jahannam in humility, being debased. Ahabati fillah that shows us that ibadah raises you by being humble before your Lord, which is the opposite of arrogance, that this raises you in status. And it is the means to Jannah, one of the means to Jannah. Likewise, Ahabati fillah, it shows us that the opposite that when we do not supplicate to Allah, when we forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we don't remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we don't make dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we're showing arrogance to our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. So first, hum, uh, humble yourself before Allah and supplicate to Him often for guidance. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a dua in which He subhanahu wa ta'ala said, رَبَّنَا لَا تَزِقْ قُلُوبَنَا بَعْدَ دَدَيْتَنَا وَحَبْ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُونْكَ رَحْمَنَكَ أَنْتَ الْوَحَابِ رَبَّنَا O our Lord لَا تَزِقْ قُلُوبَنَا بَعْدَ دَدَيْتَنَا Do not allow for our hearts to go astray after you have guided us. And supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنًا Hasana, fil akhirati hasana wa kina dhab al O Allah, O our Lord, give us good in this life as well as the hereafter and protect us from the fire. So, kathra to dua is my first piece of advice. The second piece of advice, Ahabat al is doing your best to do some talab al ilm. As the Salaf used to say, talab al ilm, talab al jannah, that seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him knowledge of the religion. So, understanding fiqh fideen. So, a sign that Allah loves you is that He grants you more Islamic knowledge. And of course, more Islamic knowledge means that you're trying to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not that you memorize more, but that you, you have practice. You have more practice. And you're trying to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, مَنْ سَلَقَ طَرِيكًا يَلْتَلْمَسُهُ بِهِ عِلْمٍ سَحْلَ لَهُ لَهُ طَرِيكًا الْجَنَّةِ That 
whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to Jannah. So, of course, that means guidance. That the person who does talab al-ilm, sahih, that is really doing, uh, seeking knowledge for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to remove themselves from sin, to guide them and their family to khair, and to guide the creation, then this person, of course, is on the path to Jannah, as the Prophet sallallahu said. And that means they're on guidance. So, of course, this is going to draw you nearer to Allah. So, seeking knowledge is also a means for seeking guidance and removing those feelings that you are far from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Reading the Quran, reading the Quran, because the Prophet ﷺ said, reading the Quran, the person who, who learns the Quran and teaches it is, is from the best of the people. Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and khayrakum min ta'alam al-Quran wa allamahu. That the best of you is those who learn the Quran and teach it. So learn in the Quran, reading as much Quran as possible for the heart, to strengthen the heart. And likewise, ahabbat fillah, along with the things I've already mentioned, is husn al is having good companionship. And as we just read an athar from the Salaf regarding that a good companion that reminds you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the person who reminds you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you meet them is better for you than the one who gives you a dinar or you know gives you a unit of wealth every time you meet them. So think if someone gave you $100 every time you saw them, you would be eager to seek out that person and you would remember that person. What's better than that is the one who every time you meet them, they remind you something about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They give you a hadith. They remind you an ayah. They tell you to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They advise you with something from the religion. They bring you some, they leave you with some kind of khair. They remind you of the statements of the ulama. They invite you to go sit with Ahl al-Ilm or to go over a mas'ala, ilmiya. Then this is husn al-suhba. This is good companionship and companionship that should be sought out. So those are just some pieces of advice that I can and offer and as a recap, we said seeking knowledge, reading the Quran, good companionship, and those are the main points. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by all of his divine names and attributes and learning learning more about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask him to forgive us of our many sins and bless us with ikhlas, with thabat, and guidance. And bless us to be of the dhakirin, wa shakirin, wa mutatahirin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.